According to the Mayo Clinic, the birth of a baby can trigger a jumble of powerful emotions from excitement and joy to fear and anxiety, but it can also result in something you might not expect depression. Many new moms experience the baby blues after childbirth. In fact, an estimated 10 percent of new moms experience a more severe form of emotional distress known as postpartum depression. Joining us today for Martha Jefferson HealthWise is Pat Cheeks, Women's Midlife Services Coordinator, to share some insights on working through the challenging condition that is called postpartum depression. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, for starters, what is postpartum depression and why does it occur? There's actually a continuum. So there's baby blues, which almost every woman, well, at least 50% of women have. There's depression, and then there can be psychosis. Mm -hmm. And so um, along that spectrum, I think it's important to make sure that we're really clear with our healthcare providers about exactly what is going on. If someone is having classic signs of depression with, uh, it could be irritability or it could be sadness, not just um, the blues where they might cry from time to time and Hallmark commercials make them cry, <laughs> but really unable to pull out of a, a mood that's um, very, very sad. Um, some of them can be quite irritable, so it could be um, difficult for the person themselves or difficult for the persons around them, mm -hmm. so one or the other. Um, sometimes it can be a difficulty attaching to the baby mm -hmm. because they're feeling so bad themselves. Um, but if we go down the list of depression, it's going to click every single one of those things. I think one of the things that we don't remember is that um, sleep has a lot to do with how our minds function. And people with new babies don't get a lot of sleep typically, unless they're really, really lucky. <laughs> so sometimes that has a whole lot to do with, with how they're doing. So how can spouses and family members, even friends, help a woman who is suffering from postpartum depression? If they can take a turn feeding the baby in the middle of the night, if a woman's breastfeeding, if she can pump and they can feed a bottle, if they can allow her to take a nap in the middle of the day, um, to be able to have some time alone. Sometimes that's really difficult for new moms is to let somebody else take care mm -hmm. of the baby, um, but to get some time just to take a shower. Sometimes taking a shower is tough because <laughs> you don't want to leave the baby alone at all. So finding a little bit of time alone um, again, taking care of themselves. Sometimes it's difficult to eat a really well-balanced meal when you're trying to take care of a baby that's crying, particularly babies that are colicky, I think can be a little more challenging. That's right, and then um, it's important to, to ask for that help because the better you feel, the more sleep you get, then the, the better off you'll be. And is it something that's quickly um, reversible here, postpartum depression? It, it can be, and sometimes it can take a while, and sometimes that asking for help is difficult because um, we're supposed to be happy mm -hmm. when we have a new baby and so to be able to admit that uh, this is a difficult time for me is is hard so for people to notice um, signs in a lot of cultures this isn't as prevalent as it is um, in Western cultures because there's a lot more community support a lot more family support so I think part of it is we've become so separated in a way from our families that um, that's probably one of the issues. Right, and so many women just, you know, want to do it all and do for everybody else, but to know that it is important to, to ask for help to you know, get family and friends to help out. Right. Um, OBGYNs and pediatricians are on the alert for this, so they're people to ask for help. There are some very good psychotherapists in our community who are available, and there are some good online support as well. Okay, great. Well, Pat Cheeks with Martha Jefferson Hospital, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. And for additional information on postpartum depression, visit our web channel at WCAV.TV.